1366, we're in a very kind of fast growth trajectory right now. It's an important year for us where we're looking to execute on a 25 megawatt production plan for our direct wafer technology. And we're engaged with four uh, early customers to help validate the technology to prepare for scaling in 2014. So it's a very big year for us. There have been a lot of companies over the years that have had very, uh, very high profiles that have made a lot of promises that they did not deliver on. So we chose a different path to keep our heads down, work very hard in this difficult time, get the technology to a point where we thought it was really prepared to scale, and then, and then come out and uh, tell the world about it. So that's why we're here. Our goal is to sell wafers to anybody in any market in the world. So it's really a B2B business that we can focus on several geographies. So Japan is very important to us, China of course. Uh, Japan and China are the two biggest markets we're focused on originally. And uh, really focused on strong customers that are looking long term. Because a lot of people are not looking past their noses as far as new technologies. But we feel like it's a great opportunity to, to introduce a new technology like Direct Wafer. We're focused on this one machine, direct wafer furnace, that produces wafers. We then want to take those wafers and sell them to the biggest, most reliable, uh, long-term partners we can find. And so that tends to focus our efforts on, on really you know, less, than, less than 10 customers over the long term. We don't have to engage in this very wide distribution model to sell modules everywhere. We focus on wafers with some of the big cell module manufacturers and, and execute on that. So wafers have been ma manufactured essentially the same way for about 40 years. Traditional casting, blocking, sawing, incredibly wasteful. You have about 12 machines required to get from silicon to wafer. So what we do is we take that entire process at 1366, we condense it down to one machine that's the size of a dishwasher, which goes from the same silicon everybody else is using to a final wafer in one step. It takes about 20 seconds to make a wafer. And then the final cells are, are beautiful. We get very kind of uniform looking uh, black appearance cells, which seem to be very, uh, very likable for, for customers, particularly in the residential market. We want to hit on kind of the holy grail. We want higher quality, more uniform wafer, but also cut the cost by over 60%. And that's the goal of the technology. It's a, it's a curveless wafering technology that we have at 1366, but it's not just the silicon we're saving. We're really creating, taking a factory and we're shrinking it down by about a factor of four into this mini wafer factory that can produce wafers in an incredibly efficient manner. And it's a very uniform process where you get a continuous process. You take this batch inefficient process where you get wide variations in quality and you condense it down into this one machine, which again goes silicon, wafer, uniform process, where every wafer sees the same processing conditions every time. Direct wafer, not only on the high quality and the low cost, but it also uses about, for wafer manufacturing, uses about a third as much energy to produce the wafer. Because as you know, the silicon is where a lot of the energy content is. We use half the silicon, we condense wafer manufacturing now, and the net result is we cut wafer manufacturing energy usage to about a third. We want to deliver a compatible product that people can buy today. Not tomorrow, not in five years. But it's also important to think about the future. So the wafers we produce now are standard size and thickness, but we can lead the next generation of products because we have a process that's extremely robust. We've already shown we can grow wafers down to less than 100 microns. We can grow N-type multi-wafers. We can do very tight resistivity control. So in all these areas where traditional casting is, is kind of uh, limited because of historic production methods, we're all of a sudden freed up to try different things and enable new roadmaps. Long term, the only way solar wins is to become low cost. And as we look at the traditional supply chain as it is, we see cost limitations in the way, particularly the wafers are done. So the only way the industry is really going to grow to the, to the size we all want it to be is to come up with fundamental cost-saving innovations like direct wafer, and that's what we're aiming to do.